point, so Showmaker here really wants to get a Sheen as soon as possible, as we do see the Halo Blades trades oh being very fun. The Ignite. Yeah, the Ignite goes down, but Kellen will survive that one. Gumiushi actually taking a lot of damage as well. As you can see, Ono down here towards oh. the bottom side. And Lucid gonna have to get here if they want to avoid some sort of dive. Looks like this wave not massively stacked as all the snare. His fantastic carry is too far forward, but he is gonna be able to survive with the flash. Still, disaster for T1. Walking after Gumiushi as well as he flashes forward, stacks up the blight. Will he hit the arrow? He will, but it's not enough. Always drink your potion. Once upon a time, the skills were changed as we might have a freebie free here. Yeah, Lucid in position. Might need to safeguard over to Showmaker as they're looking to engage. Aiming. Ellen moves on down. Aiming's already here as well. As Wind Become Lightning does come down, but Carrier looks to be the one in trouble in the arrow. It's going to ring really true this time. You mentioned map control being a huge thing is... Wow, uh, Kellen gonna get engaged on here, doesn't have Shape Splitter, but there's the ulti! Does do a fair bit, but he's still gonna go down. Teleport's coming in everywhere as Faker moves on in. Showmaker also Blades down here. And Fur to build the gold lead. Ooh, Chains of Corruption are going to connect here as Pop Blossom comes down. Gumiushi, that's a decent flash, but Luce is still on top of him. The flash forward, the Hextech ultimatum comes down. Now Ona gets on in there. Lucid will be taken out. Carry it down to half, but look at Ona. He is an absolute monster in this fight. And now the arrow doing a fair bit of work here. Lucid just trying to avoid this dragon killing him. Showmaker is here. Yeah, Faker on the flank. Oh, no! There as well. Ono just walks over, presses his smite button, and that is going to collect the Drake. Also, just presses We're Crescent. Not really sure about because he tends to win or lose before that even comes in. As Kerry is going to face check and just get kicked to his doom. He does last a little bit longer. Hextech ultimatum coming on down there, but that is going to be Kellen getting his revenge. Kellen getting the kill is a little bit silly there. Showmaker. Yeah, there's a Moonfall as well on to Zayas. Remember, does not have his flash available. The flash forward into the Pop Blossom. And the snare comes down. Took a while, but the TF does go down. Faker does get here, though. Showmaker with the Pale Cascade shield it is going to hold on. But there is the Shockwave back onto only Kellen. Lucid misses the Q, though. And that means Ona, he dives back in. But this is two versus four. The chat, please. Hopefully he thinks a little bit more. Oh, that was a bit that was a bit of a weird moment as Chains of Corruption will connect the immediate punishment, but the fate call does come down. Snare under Gumi Yushu is now looking to try and hop this one out. Showmaker looking for him, though the exhaust comes down to lower the damage, but he's still in melee range. Hextech Ultimatum still comes in, but it's two kills that go down for DK. The answering kill is there from Zayas. Showmaker going down relatively low, but the Q is going to land onto the twist of fate. It's gonna leave the Diana completely exposed. And T1 will answer with a couple of kills of their own. Kingen's still wanting a little bit more though, and he's just dove on top of Zayas. There's the flash, and they'll lock down the kill. Kingen's still wanting to fight this Jax, just freed from his solo lane, now wanting to get work done. Yeah, what is, what is Triforce? It's a fan, obviously. It's a tri triangular fan. Uh, fans, are, fans are cool, very cool weapons. I'm, I'm a big fan, first Yeah, of you're, well, a big fan. You could be a weapon. It's okay. The ulti does come on through from Ona, but he's not going to be able to get out of the way. Oh, oh the Hextech ultimatum is decent. The Pop Blossom comes down as well. The first kill does come through. The Lee Sin will be taken out. The Next wave. wave is gigantic. And the TF takes down the Varus in the back line as well. I think DK may have ran out of battle power, and they have T1 on the back. Faker's Shockwave will move to the Baron. That, that, that really is the one angle. There are a lot of squishies on T1. If you can get a heroic oh, Diana play. Well, Shockwave does come on through there. As he does find a Moonfall onto three and into the back line. Goes Lucid, but he just pops like a balloon. They cannot do anything about it. King and now having to get out of there as the dissonance damage is just gigantic. Kellen down to about one health and in goes Ona. He'll be able to take down the Nico here as Carrier diving forward. Hextech ultimatum going down. Zayas just uses him as a distraction as he tidies up absolutely Eden, everyone. They're going to go up 1 0 in the series. And Faker just coming in clutch in the end around that Baron. That is going to spell defeat for DK and a 1 0 lead. On his Yumi. Crazy. Actually, no, I, I remember this. This was the tech. It was the Yasuo Sejuani bottom lane. The gank. As here it is. Okay, Zayas is already ghosted. Let's see. Charging up the stun. Not going to find a good flash from Zayas, but Lucid probably typed to be able to jump on top of this Rift Scuttler. Takes that one down. Meanwhile, more fighting here towards the bottom side as Permafrost is going to be utilized. Ona now fighting Lucid, but this is a dangerous one. Zayas moves on down as Lucid needs to be so careful. Is Ona going to go down? No, he's not. The blue buff getting aggressive, but there is Showmaker. 
He doesn't have flash though, remember, so he's likely to fall down. It's a fantastic case! Oh, he gets knocked into the sky and Showmaker's trying to walk it off. Baker flashing after him. Now Kingen chasing down the Emperor. Does manage to get the slow oh, here. Can he find it? He has the red buff here as well as Faker trying to get out of the way. That Q just not finding the mark as Faker just shifts the sand. See, King's out. Kellen moving on forward. Showmaker just trying to block as the Emperor's Divide does come down. He gets over the wall. The flash hook is going to ring true here for Kellen. And the cage is going to come out as well. Faker not long for the world and Lucid. Oh, this is will not as terrible. So there you go. Aiming up here as well. He's going to be able to grab this plate. Is now Carrier by himself. He's going to get hooked up as Lucid finding himself a stun as well. Aiming just wanting to maximize the amount of plates that he can pick up as teleport in from T1. Dead. Kellen knows that he's really dead, and that is going to be a kill going be over. Careful, because there is a lot of engage. Carrier has his ultimate available. Yep. It's just going to be Herald. But first turd blood, probably going to be able to go over here. Faker, though, once he shows up. Well, Lucid going to make this one a 50-50. Let's see what can happen. It is going to be the steal away. There's so much AoE damage coming down. The Dawning Shadow, massive value. And Zayas has made his way into the fight. It's a one-for-one one so far, but the Bane is starting to pop off. Lucid gets over the wall, and now Showmaker left for dead. No flash because he used it earlier, and it's a double kill. Zayas. Do you want a forcing? DK to make a decision. Yeah, and there's the flash forward. The cage is down there as well. Done. And he's just dead. Ona taken out. That is the that pick you're looking for. Another four minutes, and it's not uh, even a soul. It is just soul point that they're Fight. fighting for. As Kellen now finds himself in amongst two. Showmaker and Lucid a little bit too far away. I don't know whether they're going to be able to save him, but he gets a big old shield. Showmaker flashes away, and T1 are just going to jump down on top of him. He can't click the blast cone. He's oh, running. Oh, it's a disaster. Meanwhile, the fight on the top side is also T1 favored. Faker takes down the Cassante. Lucid, I'm not sure about this one. He's trying to get his way out. Oh, that. As Zayas is chasing after him. Vayne, pretty good at chasing you down, as it turns out, as he flashes. Make a hero play. Showmaker does have smite and TP. Okay, let's see whether Showmaker can get something crazy Aiming done. Oh, double he has done it before. This. Yeah, exactly. They know. Yeah, yeah, yeah they see get it. They're, like, oh, no, 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 they're no, no, no. gonna pick this one up. Okay, so it's gonna have to be Showmaker's smite that wins this one out. Carrier does have teleport. He can make his way back in. Baron not going down anytime soon. TP carrier behind looking them. Looking for a little bit of an engage. As they're trying to block him off, they're going to see whether they can kill the Sejuani before this one is even a problem. But the all-out comes over the wall. It's absolutely fantastic. Okay. They take down Ona. But still, Fake is able to hunt down the Cassante Showmaker once again. Trying to run from Zeus. He gets himself a big old shield, but he won't find the cage. And he's on one health. The flash forward from Goomer is going to be what gets it done. And there is another team fight victory for T1 here. Lucid. They're going to be able to try and contest this. They're going to give it their all. Yeah, Teleport going to come on forward from the Cassante. They got what they wanted. Let's see whether T1 stick around for a fight. The Beta Cage not really doing too much here. Keeping an aggro, but going to drop it after all. Yeah. Maybe an actual 5v5. Piercing Darkness able to keep them very healthy in this fight as well as the Sand Soldiers go forward. That's another cage. Hook is going to come through. No one stunned though. And there's the re-engage. Kellen's down so incredibly low. And there is the pickoff. Cassante trying to get some Cassante things done, but it does not work. It's another kill for the Vein. I think that makes it seven for Zayas. The ulti, but they'll sacrifice an inhibitor turret for it. He didn't have the ult. If he gets the ult faker, then he might be able to kill him. The cage. Yeah, cage does go down. They push them into it, but King it can't really tank them up. Glacial Prison comes down. Carrier so incredibly tanky. Owner's going to be the first one to grab a kill in this fight. Another cage is going to work out as Lucid diving on That's board. One. He's got the vein, and Lucid now trying to tumble his way to victory, but he'll be taken out as well. And I think DK are just that little bit too far behind. the triple in him. As well. Kellen. They know. Wanting oh, to find an angle. Know. They spot him out. Mega Blast Cone is something that he can possibly use for a cheeky little angle, but it's not going to be before these inhibitors have all gone down. And Kellen's still just like trying to work out what he can do. The answer is nothing, as there's the explosion on the aiming, the primary target, and he has to go back to the fountain. Kingen's also having to dash away. It's going to leave their whole base exposed to Zayas. Yes. He'll be taken out. But even with four members, look at all of these minions. They are just gigantic. Kellen's made it to the back line, though. Next and Aiming's oh, got his health right back the Nexus. Right. It's so incredibly low, and there it goes. T1. Match point. Kingen now has an opportunity to get a lot of damage down. Q going to connect. 
and Zayas will be taken down. That is first blood. Yeah, it's just a fight for the campers. There's the flash in. Okay, Kumiyushi going to get all of those sticks thrown into him. And the Ren does come down. The Ignite still taking the bailout. They didn't wait quite long enough, but Amy, he might be able to get it. And there it is. Now Carrier yeah, running for the dive too easily, especially with Lucid here as well. They don't know that yet. Yeah, Shattering Strike to connect onto Gumiushi here is a bit disconnected. Crash down to come through as well. He's now aiming very slowly trying to dance around this fight. In goes Kellen with the Fates Call as the pushback with the Heroic Charge is gorgeous. And now Showmaker getting amongst it. The Spirit Rush working out as Gumiushi desperately trying to hunt down Kellen. He'll find it. In but mid, by the time that the objective is started, they, Team 1 spots him. They're like, we can't actually make our way over Owner is here. Yeah. The rock charge onto Kellen actually finds a lot of value. He's going to get that knockup. Magnus Storm comes in. Lucid going to come on back. And now Showmaker has teleported forward. Ono is burning down. He's got the bailout. But look at the AoE. It is disgusting. Gamushi once again Faker. going completely ham. As Faker going to get hit. But it is not enough just yet. This mid lane turret needs to fall. Arrow going to connect here onto the Showmaker, who does make it out. Emperor's Divide's going to connect as well. Showmaker will be taken down, aiming. Yep. A lot of vision available here with the Destiny, and now Kingen going to have to flash to get himself out of the way of this. And Equalizer, it goes down, but they are just going to chain CC him to death. Showmaker tried to get over there, but it's not going to work out. And now the Blast Cone gets T1 completely formed back up again. That charm, absolutely amazing. But there is the Dragon going over. It's Faker that secures it. Exhaust onto Showmaker. He's still very dangerous, but he doesn't find the charm. And the roll will go down. Lucid is super dead. He will be taken out here on the clock. As far as that Red Bull Baron power play is concerned, Showmaker was looking for some exit kills. I just think it's going to be so difficult as he doesn't quite find the... Yeah, anything at all, really. And he's just going to be taken down. They're still going. Yeah, uh, Kellen going in now. He'll be hit by an arrow. There's an equalizer. That's going to do a fair bit of work. The Fate Score comes down. They at least get the Twisted Fate. Might still look for a Hill Mary fight. Might still stand a chance. The arrow is going to go wide. Equalizer goes down. I mean, it's a lot of AoE damage, but there are not a lot of members of DK in this area. They'll do a fair bit of work. Showmaker now trying to get in there. Lucid off to the side. He'll connect a Q. Yeah, What's over a ward, but see, you can see the Ari moving wait, wait, her way see. in as well. Doesn't have result. Yeah, Kingen throwing down a very early Equalizer here. And oh. Gumiushi standing in that brush. They're just trying to keep him interested. Of course, Aes, he cannot get down here. Doesn't even have the ult if he's going to walk into that area. You're going to connect there onto Ona. Steadfast Presence at the ready. As T1, they're just looking to try and find an exit, trying to find a way out. DK trying to find a way in. There is the engage. Magnus Storm pulls Ona back in. Fate's Call going to be utilized here. Is now Showmaker. He's fishing, trying to find an opportunity. Empress Divide, he connects only onto Aiming, who will now just try and kill the rest of his team because it was a fantastic hostile takeover. And now Lucid gets into the back line. Carry is the last man standing, and it's King and finally making this rumble work in a team fight. No, he is he is doing damage. And okay, into the back line goes Lucid. And then out of the back line goes Lucid, and he's now hit by an arrow. Fate's Call as DK know that they need to start this fight. Faker, he finds the rumble with the Empress Divide, but Showmaker's also going to be able to take down the Twisted Fate. Look at these health bars, they're so low on DK's side. It's only Showmaker. The only place that they really can uh, look for picks is... Okay, Zayas. Oh. In. There it is, the engage, and Zayas is just going to be taken down. So T1, once again, have to deal with... Uh, and yeah, Zayas should just be able to take two in hips if they're not going to get the work done. And now DK, they were thinking about trying to collapse on top of him once again, but this Drake has been started up. And it's probably going to go down to the wave. Yeah, DK and going to come on through. And now the destiny has dissipated. Zayas now looking for that flank himself. Kellen taken 50% down as Faker. He's going to get himself out of there. It should be the Drake. A possibility The secure for Ona. And they deny the soul. And now can they actually win the fight as well as everyone's in the Thunderdome? Lucid is going to try and kick away the Azir. The Equalizer just not doing quite as much as it wants to do. And he's stuck inside the pit with nowhere to go. And DK, they're now going to get flanked by Faker. He finds two with the Empress Divide, and that is going to be that. That will be the 3-0 as welcome back, T1. They will go to the lower bracket final in Jumpshill next weekend. DK, they had an incredible series against Gen G, but it seems like tonight 